Thank you so much for joining Ray and Care Farms. Uh, we appreciate you coming back again. Uh, we plead to you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Um, just like I promised you in some of our previous videos that I will be sharing with you uh, the result from our first set of arch uh, using our kerosene powered incubator. First I would like to start with it was a failure. It wasn't what we thought it would turn out to be because we only achieved uh, about 27 percent. Mm -hmm. We had like um, 110 eggs inside the incubator but like, unfortunately to a brook like some few days after we set up our incubator right and after that um, uh, we were able to get around 30 out of the remaining 108 uh, which is quite quite bad uh, most especially if you want to do that on a commercial level um, if you want to do it on a commercial level you need to be getting like nothing less than probably 80 percent to 90 percent if you really really want to like make the money that is involved in this project uh, unfortunately we had just around 30 and some of them came out weak I think that happens uh, for commercial uh, farms as well but like they call so many beds that you don't get to like see them but like on a la on, on a smaller scale like ours um, losing one two beds like um, can be quite uh, difficult to take like it is what it is this is farming this is uh, real life uh, success and failures they are bound to like happen at every moment and it's not always rosy like sometimes you have it better sometimes you have it worse but as a farmer you just have to like learn how to continue to like do this how to continue to 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 be better at what you're doing and um, some of the things we think we did uh, wrongly was first our construction um, we ought to use um uh, a drawer like um, drawer like um, a set I mean I mean I'm talking about where we placed our eggs because um, where we placed the eggs um, it, it didn't really give um, enough heat it didn't really allow enough heat to penetrate to the uh, top of the incubator um, the lantern we used could only get to the first step the second one i think it's a bit far-fetched for for the lantern and with that we were using more kerosene than it is required so if you really want to build any uh, incubator like this uh, we encourage you to build something um to build something that allows you that allows the, the heat to penetrate a lot deeper a lot better uh, and if you want to do that, you probably use like a drawer, like um, net, like or like like a like a like um like a handle or something like that that allows you to like put as many eggs as you would like, and at the same time allow you to um, have the needed heat uh, circulating all through the incubator. And and the second thing I think I did wrong was stressing the eggs too much. I was always checking around like um like uh having to like exchange the the two boxes and doing so many other things like i I had to like wake up in the middle of the night like checking if the temperature is not dropping and I mean some of the things that I did I think they are positive like they are they are they are really good things, but like at the end of the day, I think I was doing it a little bit too much so um i I advise you. If you really want to do something like this in the future, you probably do not need to like worry the eggs as much as I did. You just have to like be able to know, okay, uh, the temperature, I mean, you should be able to like figure it out. Um, in the middle of the night, the, the temperature will probably be around this and this. I think it's difficult to like achieve, um, most especially, uh, it's really, really difficult to achieve. And um, my uh, enthusiasm towards this shouldn't be faulted, I guess. 
but like I don't know you just have to find the balance um, to to achieving this like probably try to study the weather okay if the weather it's a little bit cloudy before midnight this is uh, this is the percentage this is this is the kind of degree we have in the middle of the night or something like that I know weather is difficult to like um, to 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 predict and that that is one of the hardest things um, uh, we faced using a uh, kerosene powered incubator because we I don't know if there are some other um, f uh, models that people have been able to build over the time but like the one we use specifically we couldn't get um, the right um, uh, we, we there, there's no way we could predict like that what, what, what was going to happen so that that was quite difficult for us and I think because of this reason uh, we would like to move uh, entirely to 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 the automatic um, power, um, electricity powered uh, incubator I mean if we have to like use generator for the duration of the 21 days so be it in as much we are getting the needed result i think we'll be fine so um um yeah in this uh arching it wasn't really successful it was quite okay not bad i think for the very first time i think we have one or two things to learn and um yeah after this we tried to like arrange the beds like try to like give the give them some um um some water um, like a stress reliever uh, what else did we do we we did some med some other things for 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 the beds we 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 provided them with feeds after ensuring most of them have uh, had uh, some water and um, we will continue with necessary vaccines uh, and see where this uh, leads us to so thank you so much for watching this channel uh, we implore you to subscribe uh, we thank you we really appreciate you for the support like it makes us uh, uh, to want to do this for, for, for as long as possible so kindly subscribe to this channel and help this uh, uh, struggling uh, channel uh, thank you and bye for now